Necessity is the mother of invention. Look at my camera rig. I'm all set up with it stuck in my apron in the front. So the moving around will be minimal, but there might be some. And remember that I'm the founder of the silent YouTube video and I invite you to listen to your TV or your own music or whatever while I'm doing this you can watch and listen but if I play music right now it will distract you from what I'm doing so make your own noise I'm going to double speed or four times the contour drawing but I want to show you a little bit of it at real time so you can see that it is a very deliberate process and take your time notice that I'm holding the pencil at the very end and that surprisingly gives you a little bit more control what we're doing here is training eye hand coordination and the lines are not perfect I don't erase I just go back very lightly and I leave these pencil lines because they're the mark of my hand so there you have it I'm gonna stop it now and speed up Tea. This is a an experiment. All of mine are, you know that. <clears throat> Alrighty, it's Vicky. Like I said just before, this is a very experimental situation because I'm painting from life, from a still life that I'm going to put right up in this corner. Now, the reason this bar is here is that's the bar from my swing line light. And with a still life, you have to control the light somewhat if you want to get some interesting shatter shapes. And I've got plenty of photographs. And I did the contour drawing. Y'all are going to really laugh. But I did this contour drawing with the, and I took a picture of that too, with a Gorilla tripod thing I got from American science and surplus and this is off my selfie stick and I put this down my apron front and filmed it while I did the contour drawing. Now that's no mean feat because part of the time I couldn't see what I was drawing so that makes it a real blind contour drawing. This uh, I painted these the other day using a very thin wash of lapis lazuli which is a granulating color from Daniel Smith and it worked really well for the wisteria lilacs I was painting very thin leave the belly of the brush on the paper I don't think I need that brush I'm put it over there and you can leave some rough edges. Connect those two. And then next I'm going to go into... Now these are sitting out far enough away from the background that they are not um, casting a shadow. So while this is still damp, I'm going to come back in and add some of my amethyst color. See what delicate strokes you can make, marks with this size 10. I'm 
and just let the color do what it wants to. And yeah, I'm gonna come in on the bottom. I'm gonna paint the darkest area first, which is right in here. And I'm just blending those two. It comes right down here into the body of my turtle. Beesh. Very slow and deliberate. Stay away from the tip of that brush as much as you can. Thirsty brush will pick up what you don't want down here at the bottom. And there's a little bit of an oxidation color on him. That blue will cool it down just a hair. Looks like it just disappeared. wait for a few minutes on that. Um, green, I'm going to take some lemon yellow. Add a little blue to that purple. And come in here and see if it's right to put those little darker areas. I believe it might be fine. Again, the paper's still wet, so I'm going to get soft, splotchy spots, which is what I want. And this area under here is all dark and comes right into that foot. And from a distance, this was too rigid. And note to me, please wait until stuff dries before you try to make an edge. So I'm going to extend this flower, give it a little more shape right here. Go ahead and wet that. And I'm going to add another real loose flower shape over there. Yes, the other thing I can do is darken this right in here. And this flower would come over it because we've got some white right here. If we keep that, we can, we, I think, <laughs> Woody Woodpecker. And again, this is 
going to be part of a bound book. The artists who are participating in this video hop are all doing a piece of work that's the same size, whatever they want to do, and the group is having one person collect the paintings for that group, and she's our binder is going to put my group's paintings together, bind them in a book, and then those my will quote be is contour uh, drawing helps you see the things a you're gift drawing. Raffle helps you see that the things you are drawing anyone aren't things, but the rather hot. shapes that intertwine and connect. Charles Reed. This is 18 karat gold by Carlon. I'm going to see if I'm successful getting some out. Use a toothpick. Pick up some of that. Now we're done. 